Yo, this is it on the place. Pokemon Black 2. So we got ourselves some new Pokemon with uh, two fossil Pokemon actually. And in addition, we also captured the legendary Pokemon Uxi. Now we have finally completed the Lake Guardian Trio of the Sinnoh region. Now let me just show you the Pokemon I mentioned. So here it is. Uxi just captured last time. Future Sight, Amnesia Extra, Sensory and Flail. But we also got these two, Cranidos and Archon. So Archon is, or Archon, is a uh, Pokemon you can only get from fossils, and you can get them from Twist Mountain once every day. Get some random fossil. So these are two of the ones, both. This one's Generation 4, this one Generation 5. But, before we go on, there's one little thing you should do. Put a Pokemon out from your party so you have one empty spot. This is a bit important, because we're now about to get additional Pokemon. So once you're done through your business here in Akron City, there's also a move to here that wants to trade your green shards, and so on. Then, let's go to the east, entering this gate. And here, talk to this Pokemon breeder right here. Um, excuse me, trainer. This Pokemon egg was found at the daycare. Would you raise it? Okay, please take good care of this egg. And we get an egg that we can cap that we can get to hatch. Apparently, putting Pokemon eggs next to healthy Pokemon is a good thing. In other words, walk with the egg. You know, the daycare is in Route Three. They might be able to tell you more. That sounds great. So uh, yes, indeed, you want to have this thing going because this egg gives you a Pokemon that you cannot find in the wild in this game. It is Happiny. Happene is the pre evolutional form of Chansey that can evolve into Blizzy. So, if you want to have a Chansey Blizzy, then you want to get the Happene egg from the gate towards route number 3, where we are right now. So, route 3 is the place that connects Nacrian City with Stratton City, and then the Wellspring Cave is the northwest of here, and to the northeast you will find the Pokemon Daycare. Yeah, this is something you've probably been wanting to do. The Daycare is located here. So you have some water you can go and surf around as well. Get in some items, there's some trainers here. Patches of grass with both dark grass and regular grass. And of course there are trainers. Should we battle some? Of course. Let's go. Let's get a dual battle. Let's go, let's go, let's go! We're cheering any trainer who tries his or her best. Let's go, let's go, let's go! We're cheering every Pokemon that fights. That sounds good to me. Let's do it. A double battle against this Beckers, May, and Mel. And these Beckers sends out Pachiritsu and Amolga. Two electric Pokemon. One can fly, the other cannot. So in with Magnezone and Crocodile. So this will be a bit interesting. So Magnezone is decent here because he can do some damage to the uh, Pachiritsu. Only problem is that, yeah, you could do an Earthquake to take out the Patrizia as well, with Crocodile, but it won't hit uh, Amolga, and as well, my Magnezone will be taking a heavy damage. Actually, I'll do a little change here. Let's do a Flash Cannon onto Patrizia, and then let's go with a Rock Slide on Amolga and Patrizia, because Amolga is weak to Rock being a Flying type. Crocodile gets the first hit. I'm gonna land the Rock Slide on both of these two Pokémon, and Mulga takes a heavy hit, but will survive. Now, Patrice will use Hyper Fang on Crocodile. Damage is pretty low, but does flinch uh, Mulga from the Rock Slide. Magnezone with Flash Cannon now will be used on Patrice. Will Patrice survive this? Most likely yes, because it's not very effective, but it's better than other options. Let's just continue doing this, because we should KO both of them. Just Rock Slide and uh, Flash Cannon again. They should take down the Amolga. And it takes down the Patricia as well. Well played, Crocodile, carrying two Pokemon with one move. This also means we get Moxie times two, which doesn't really matter that much in this battle, but at least it just shows the power of Crocodile's Moxie in a double battle if you can KO multiple Pokemon at once. Go, go, Pokemon! Fight, fight, trainer! Yeah, it's cool. It's nice. Very nice. 
Alright, so here we are at this standpoint. So go to the left here to go to the Wellspring Cave. Go to the right to enter the Pokemon Daycare and head over to Stratton City. And that's exactly where we want to go. First, before we go here though, we have another double, double battle. Or, you thought. Do you have an egg? Yep, I do have an egg. So, yeah. This is the Pokemon Daycare. There's also some trainers you can fight here at the uh, the nursery school here. Some nursery aids. But this is an important place. This is the Pokemon Daycare. I'm the Daycare Man! We take care of the precious Pokemon of other trainers. If you'd like us to raise your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. So this is a place where you can raise Pokemon. You can raise up to two Pokemon here. And by doing so, they can level up as you're walking and doing other things. Also remember, they also replace moves. They place the moves that is on the top ones of your um, move selections. And then all the moves will be moving one square up. So make sure you don't have any precious moves on the top that you don't want them to forget. Let's just uh, get in Simipore again. Instead of the egg. Because uh, I'm not going to... We are... Uh, I was saying we are close to done. We are still about 15 episodes at least. But... We should be getting done before we reach episode number 100. So we're still some more stuff to do, but we are starting to round up a bit. Once you're done here in the daycare center, putting up your Pokemon, let's go south. And now you're entering Striaton City. This is a very nice place because this was the first gym located. It was located right here. This is a delicious restaurant where you can also enjoy Pokemon battles. Yep, so this is a place that you could fight for the first gym badge in black and white. But since we couldn't really go here before getting the 8 badges and fighting the Pokemon League, that means the trio of gym leaders have now decided to do some other things. Not like it means they will not do a battle wing us, that's of course what we want to do right now. But just saying that they started to do other things as well. Once you have done healing up your Pokemon, it's time for us to have some fun. So, when you're ready, go inside here to the former Stratton City Gym, now more of a Pokemon restaurant. So here we are. Welcome! This is a little restaurant where you can enjoy a show. That's for sure. And here we see them as well. You see the blue one, the green one, and the red one. These were the gym leaders of uh, the first gym in black and white. So we have Chili, we have Silen, and we have Chris. I'm a water type specialist, and my name is Chris. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. You there, would you be so kind to be as my partner in a battle with my siblings? Yeah, so basically what we're going to do now is to have a double battle where we have to pick one of the brothers to be our partner and we will fight the other two brothers. So that's pretty cool though. Um, my name is Silen. I like grass type Pokemon. We were gym leaders, but in order to improve ourselves further, we are working at this restaurant and spending every day with Pokemon. How about it? We are a team with me to take part in a double battle? Yeah, maybe. And then finally we have this guy. This guy we already fought once before in the Pokemon uh, World Tournament, he, which actually knocked us out. You know what we should do? We should fight with him, in my opinion. Let's do that. I'm Chili. My fire type Pokemon and I are too hot to handle. What it boils down is that I want you to be my partner. Let's do it. Yo! I'm the strongest of us brothers, and I'll make sure you win. That's that, then. I'm going to show you what me and my blazing fire types can do. So here we go. This is going to be an epic double battle with the three brothers of Striaton City. We're going to face them against Stillen and Cress, with Chili being our partner. This is going to be a six-on-six -six Pokemon battle. So here we go. Maractus and Basculin will be our opponents here. And we will be using Heatmore heat more from Chili, and I'll be using my Magnezone. So again, you can decide to have Chris or uh, Silen as well as your partners, but I'm going to choose Chili because he was my opponent at the Pokemon World Tournament in which we actually lost. So it's time for us to, to you know, if you can't beat him, you join them. 
All right, so here we have interesting type. We have water and grass on that field. Our field, we have electric and fire. This means we should focus on the proper ones. So I should take care of the Basculin with Thunderbolt, while he should take care of the Maractus. Let's see if he will do that. Basculin will go first with Aqua Tail. The strike on Magnezone, which does pretty decent damage. Basculin, of course, will take some recoil there from the Rocky Helmet. Magnezone now with Thunderbolt onto the Basculin. That will deal massive damage to him. That's going to be a KO right there. Well played, Magnezone. That's one down with five more to go. Magnezone gets some more XP from this one, gets to level 63. Arcanine as well gets XP from the experience share, goes to level 62. Maractus with Cotton Guard. That means its stats boost is going to go up for defense, which is going to ro rose drastically. That means it's going to go up plus three defense. That's really massive. But that won't help its Fire Blast, though. It's a special attack. That's going to roast the Maractus completely. It's a one hit KO from Heatmore. Well played. Alright, that was two Pokemon. Let's see who next will be. Slowking from Cress. And Sylum would send out Ferrothorn. Wow. Now this is even interesting because Slowking is Water Psychic, while Ferrothorn is Bug Steel. This is excellent for uh, Heatmore because Ferrothorn has a four time weakness to fire, as both Steel and Bug, I mean both um, Grass and Steel, which it is his typing, are all weak to fire. So that means it'll double up. For uh, Slow King though, Psychic and uh, Water, that means Electric will do well, Dark will do well, so let's just go with Thunderbolt. We are quicker than the both, because they are pretty slow, Slow King and uh, Ferrothorn. Let's go with Thunderbolt on the Slow King. That won't be enough to KO though, because it's pretty tanky. Heatmore's Fire Blast on Ferrothorn, that's a guaranteed KO for sure. It has a 4 time weakness, no way it can survive that, unless it's heavily level advantage, but he's not. So, Heatmore takes down the Ferrothorn. Now, Slowking will use Calm Mind to increase its defenses more of the special defense. That's good for it. Up with special attack as well. It also has a uh, an item on it. It's gonna be the uh, Leftovers, which means restores slightly more HP every turn. Final Pokemon from Sylum will be Simisage. Simisage as well, a pure grass type Pokemon. That means Heatmore should take care of that one. I'll go with the Thunderbolt on Slowking. Heatmore with Sucker Punch on Slowking. And that's going to be a guaranteed uh, hit there KO. It's a super effective move. Not very good for us though, because now I have to use Thunderbolt on a Grass type. That's not really good. That's fine though. Simisage will use Workup, which is the TM you got from the first gym in black and white. This one increases the attack power and defense power of the Pokemon. Actually, attack power and special attack. Yeah, that's right. I was mixing it with build up. I think. Thunderbolt will deal some damage, but not very effective. Crest will now send out Simipore, which is expected. They all have the elemental monkeys. That probably means that uh, Chili has uh, uh, Simi's uh, Seer as well, and one of his Pokemon. Doesn't matter though, let's use Thunderbolt on the Simipore. No, please see if more will take care of the Simi Sage. Rock Slide from uh, Simi Sage will deal not very much damage to Magnezone, but Heatmore will take a lot of damage from this one. Lost some of its HP for as well, Simi Sage. Probably has a thing that increases its power. Scald on to Heatmore. Heatmore will be going down this time. Not much we can do about it. We'll take some damage as well. Minus one is flinched from the rock slide, we cannot do any moves, here comes Simisir, and now all the three elemental monkeys are on the field. We have Simisage, Simipore, and Simisir, all of them out to play. Simisage, Simipore on the same team, Simisir with us. And let's go again with the Thunderbolt. Simipore will use Scald again, this time on Simisir, that's super effective. Will it be enough to KO the Simisir though? It's gonna be one KO right there. Simi Sage will use Rock Slide again onto Magnezone. Will it be enough to flinch or KO though? Magnezone will not flinch this time. He will land Thunderbolt onto Simi Poor. Will it be enough to KO though? The answer is yes. Simi Poor goes down. Well played Magnezone. 
But which Pokemon now will come from Machili? It's going to be Darmanitan. Interesting. Darmanitan is a pure fire type as well. This is going to be very effective for us as the Simisage is now done. We're 1 versus 2. Here comes Simisage's Energy Ball. That's probably going to hit on us. Yep. Not very effective though, but it's going to be enough to KO Magnezone because Magnezone didn't have enough HP to survive. Here comes the Mantan's Flare Blitz. That's the most powerful physical fire move. It does have recoil, but it's super powerful. It's gonna take care of that Simi Sage pretty easily. Some recoil in return, but that's, that's not any problem for Darmanitan. And this battle is over. Huh? Looks like my timing was uh, off. Lose me? I don't believe this. But I do. I do. I win. Ha ha. Nah, nah, that, that's rude. I was good too, but you aren't half bad. How about it, Silly and Cress? Out of three of us, I'm the strongest trainer, right? Yo, you're intense! Battling together with you got me all fired up, man. Come battle again sometime. Yeah, I mean, of course we can do that, right? I mean, I think this was a really nice battle. With these uh, brothers, cool brothers. Yeah, I think it was pretty cool. Now, you can also do another battle with them more if you want to, because you can battle with these brothers once per day. Let's say tomorrow you can maybe fight with Sylan against these brothers. And then the day extra you can team with uh, Cress against Sylan and Chile as well. In my opinion, it's not really hard to lose because one of the brothers will be super effective against the other one, while one will also be weak. So, if you focus on taking out the brother that's uh, strong against uh, the other brother's Pokémon, you should be able to win pretty simply, pretty easily. But that uh, was pretty cool, though. Anyways, um, I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. So next episode, we're gonna go explore some more stuff around this area before we head further south and head to Nevada Town soon meet with Professor Juniper so she can have our Pokedex evaluated to see how good we are doing in Black 2. And of course in White 2 if you're playing that one. And after that, well, let's see if there's some more stuff we can do. Of course, there are some stuff of course we will do, but at the same time, when we do some other stuff, the level of Pokemon will start to get higher, and in the very end, though, we will go and re-challenge the Pokemon League when they have much higher level Pokemon, much better moveset. Things are going to be tougher, that's for sure. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. And that's going to be it for now. So I'll see you guys next time as my story of Pokemon Black 2 continues.